What's up, guys? Rick from Rick's Frog School here with another Coheed lesson, The Gutter. I love this song. I heard it for the first time live when Unheavenly Creatures just came out. The reason why I love this band so much, I was there at Festival Pier in Philadelphia. The record, actually, the record hadn't even come out yet. They had just leaked some songs and they started playing some of the new stuff and everybody knew every word to every song. Songs that had not come out yet. That's why I love this band. That's why I love this fan base. Shout out to Carrie Rasmussen, uh, YouTube user who, who requested that I do this song. Guys, if you have any requests for songs, for lessons you want me to do, leave it here in the comments on YouTube. I might just make a video out of it. So let's get started, guys. This one is in B minor, and it's going to start on this heavy B power chord. Then we're going to go to a G. Then it goes to E. G E power chord. Get this run up. Cover all of that first again B, G, and E for your power chords. Uh, and then this run up here is gonna be F sharp, second fret E power chord to A, the fifth fret of the E string to B, seventh fret, and then D. And we're gonna do that twice. Do a B power chord. Now, this riff here is great, reminiscent of Crazy Train, but mostly, you know, because it is a pedal tone riff. Pedal tone riffs are when we play a note in between every other note in our riff. So, like, so we keep coming back to. So we hit that B power chord, and we go. Ninth fret A, back to our B note. 10th fret A, back to that B, and then do it again. This time to a G power chord. Now we're gonna go. So that's third fret E, second fret A, back to third fret E, back to second fret A. We're gonna go five, four, and two. And give it another five, four, two on the A. So again. Two and E power chord. We're gonna palm just you know for texture purposes. Palm mute this run. And then open it back up for that E power. Fret A, fourth fret, to the fifth fret, to the fourth fret again, to the fifth fret, to the seventh fret again. Now we're gonna run this up again. Now the power chords for the riff. So you go F sharp, A, B, D twice again. Then they start chugging on a G. B, A. There's a cool little fill that Travis does. It's fast. So you're gonna go seventh fret D. Five, seven, nine, slide. Seven, nine, eleven, nine, eleven, twelve, and then back to the eleven. I've seen some tabs on the internet that aren't quite right. They're kind of like, you know, the, especially like there's a guitar pro tab and it, it has you play in that part just a little too slow, like, which would still sound cool, don't get me wrong. You can kind of hear clear as day on the record, he's going. So this G chord, B, A, Travis will play the fill, do it again. 
And then it's going to go into the chord system where it goes G chord, B chord, A chord, big and open. Now, my favorite part of this whole thing is the lead melody that Travis is playing. I was playing it in the intro of the video. Uh, he's going to go. So again, another pedal tone lick. This time we're pedaling off of a D note. You could play, I play it here. I play it here. You could also play the same thing up here on the 17th fret of the B. I've seen it written that way too. That's just playing it here is a little more congested. I'd recommend you play it over here. 12th fret E to the 15th fret of the B to the 14th. And then Pinky is going to grab the 17th fret of the E. So. And then so after you play that. Drive on that 15th fret of the B a little. 12E, 15, 14E, 15, B, 17E to the 15th fret of the B again. So it's hit that 15 a couple more times and then go. That's gonna be 12E, 15B, and then we'll toggle between 14 and 15 on that B string. Now, every melody needs a counter melody. Just change up the ending, make this interesting. Go. So instead of doing this, you're going just between that 12E and the 15B. So you get this. We're going to repeat that. Now, again, so Claudio is going to G. Claudio's got some fills here too. Gonna really cool. This one. This is rock and roll. From the seventh fret of the A to the ninth fret, Claudio's going back to seven to the fifth fret to the open A. Five seven again. So it's next time around. He's and we're going fifth fret E, seventh fret A. Two fills, play that all around again, and then you get this. So the high part of this harmony, it's a harmony. There's the low part. The high part is gonna be 12th fret to the 16th fret, to the 14th fret of the D, 12th fret G, 12th fret B, 15B, 14, 12, 14, so you get the low part. Okay, four, seven, five on the D with our middle finger. Four G, pinky finger seven, P uh, ring finger six. Back to the fourth fret. And then back to the C. Get that. Okay, we're gonna get into this. So it's a G chord. Four times. Bat it. Down up. Down up down up and then you'll toggle between F sharp and G power chords. Four sets of that and then B chord. It's gonna kind of repeat the intro back to G. Back to the D. And then it's gonna run up. Hold that B and vibrato the chord. And then it runs up again. And it just repeats the chorus. Guys, this song is so long. I'm going to have to do this video in two parts. So they, the most of Travis and Claudio's riffs for all the intros, verse, chorus, licks, and everything else. I hope you had fun learning this. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, leave me comments in the comment section on YouTube if you need me to help you through any more Coheed songs. I love this band. I'm just doing this to help out. Uh, and guys, I have fun doing it. So visit ricksrockschool.com. Watch Dog Coffee and Guitars on my YouTube, and I'll see you next time.